Well, for all those viewers on Channel 10 out at the Penrith League Club today, I can tell you it's into the final two minutes. And the Panthers are in the lead by nine points to nil. With possession of the ball inside the 22, Chris Close, the frustration of the grand final. And what a shame it would be if uh, Chris Close has given any marching orders in his last game with the Manly Moringa side. I don't think it'll reach that, but really it comes back to frustration. Nothing's gone right for the Sea Eagles in this grand final. So referee Greg McCullum, here is the lead up. I just wonder whether anything went in there. Well, there's a couple. What's Chopper? In for his chop. And they come in like bees around a honeypot. Reminiscent Billy Anderson of a state of origin class a few years ago. Yes, it was. Fortunately, it didn't come to a great deal. I don't think many of the blows connected and the referee and touch judges, plus the captain, Craig Izzard, did a good job by coming in and uh, squashing the whole thing very quickly. Well, Izzard still working overtime, settling his players down. McCullum hearing the touch judge report close and Robinson. Robinson was a man that came in. So no action will be taken other than a penalty to the Penrith Panthers. And Izzard says, we'll use up the clock, sir. We're going to have a kick for goal. Very wise move. He sound head on a very young man, only 23 years of age, joined from the Blacktown workers. What a great glory for him today. Played 11 first grade games this year. And Fitzhenry. He's missed with both his attempts, but kicked a very handy drop goal to kick the Panthers to the lead by nine points to nil. The clock stops with 25 seconds remaining in the reserve grade grand final. And so for the club that joined the Sydney Premiership back in 1967 with Cronulla. They've won an under-23 grand final in years gone by. This is their first in reserve grade and the last at the Sydney Cricket Ground. There's the icing on the cake. Two more points. Mark Geyer gives him a great big hug. It's 11 points to nil. There's the hooter. It's all over. And Penrith celebrate. Today, they are not the chocolate soldiers, Billy Anderson. They've done a great job, a well-coached team, very well-disciplined. Graham Murray uh, led from the front as the, uh, as the coach. And you can see here the jubilation on the players. A lot of these boys played in the under-23 team, which was defeated last year in that grand final. They were beaten 13 points nil by South Sydney, but today was their day. Well, a tremendous moment for the Penrith side. 11 points to nil. And the State Bank, man of the match, goes to their captain, $500, to Craig Izzard. Craig, Craig, congratulations. Magnificent display. Thanks, Graham. It was a good night out here anyway. It's the main thing. But, uh, you know, I think we drummed into our bloke's head that six months hard work and, you know, we didn't finish first on the ladder they did. You know, we did it hard. I don't think we're the underdogs. Uh, I think we're the underdogs, I should say. But it was good, good effort. What about for Graham Murray? A great win, and yet the club haven't signed him to be the reserve grade coach next year. No, it's, well, we did it for Graham. We did it for ourselves more than anything, you know. For the club, too. A lot of blokes are leaving, but, you know, you can't take anything away from Graham Murray. He's a top coach. All right. From courtesy of the State Bank, $500 for the man of the match this afternoon. Thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot, Graham. All right. There he is. The happy skipper from Penrith, the, the captain, Craig Izzard. Man of the match, courtesy of the State Bank, $500. A break now, then back for the presentations.